Our friend Amy is really ready to struggle with us this week. Yesterday, she said, I am a victim of forces beyond my control. We said, let's be scientific about this. Let's place some hidden cameras around campus to see if we can catch these so-called forces in action. Let's be clear on what a force is. A force is a push or a pull. A pull is a force moving towards you. A push is a force moving away from you. Can we all see the problem here? Why won't you just pull the door? Now she's got it. Once she figured out the right direction to apply the force in, she did just fine. That reminds me, the more mass an object has, the more force it takes to get it moving. Oh look, Amy's having issues with forces again. It looks like someone spilled their water bottle in the hallway. She's slipping all over the place. Freeze camera nine, please. Let's zoom in and see what's happening. Activate force analysis mode. That water has reduced the amount of friction between Amy's shoes and the floor. That loss of friction makes Amy slip and slide. Oopsie, down she goes. See, I am a victim of forces. Is she? Amy finally made it to class, but she can't find her new pencil. It looks like it's falling onto the floor. Amy has spotted her pencil. Uh-oh, freeze camera five, please. Let's zoom in and see what's happening now. Activate force analysis mode. So the culprit here is gravity. Amy leaned over too far, which made her lose her balance. Gravity caused her to fall to the floor, along with her missing pencil. See, I am a victim of forces. Is she? Wait. Is that her on the zip line? What is she thinking? Red alert, activate camera two. This could be it, people. Activate force analysis mode. Check out what happens when the zip line handle hits the bumper at the end of the zip line. Watch how Amy's feet and legs swing forward. That's because of inertia. Right, it goes back to Newton's first law of motion. She got a great push to start her moving. And even when Amy's hands stop moving, the lower half of her is still moving forward until a new force acts on her. Gravity. When gravity overcomes the push that started her moving, Amy's feet swing back down and then she's ready to stick the landing. See, I am a victim of forces, but aren't we all?